So what are we doing today? Cleaning out the hot tub and moving it outside. Moving the hot tub outside. So we're gonna clean this out. We haven't used it in a while because it's, uh, it's, it's June. It's been pretty hot out and so we haven't used this thing. So it's gotten dirty. We kind of turned the temperature down and kind of let it just sit here for about the last month and a half. So it's time to clean this whole thing out. We'll get the, the lid all cleaned up. We'll get it all cleaned up in here. And then we're gonna move it outside to the deck area. Well, it's almost completely drained. We got uh, some soap and water. I just kind of scrubbed down the sides and we'll scrub the floor down once we get it outside and rinse it out. But a lot of people asked, how are you gonna drain it? Well, there's just a, a hose hook up on the, the bottom here. It, it actually um, pulls right from the bottom of the, of the hot tub. And then I just ran the hose out the, the door wall. So, so now we'll move it out onto the deck. We've got some of our bushes and trees and plants and things like that kind of spread out uh, on other places. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, get this rolled out the door and get it cleaned up, filled back up, heated back up, and then we can enjoy it again this summer. So if you have not been following along with the channel, you may uh, not have seen the previous video where we moved this in here. Uh, this was in here all winter long, so in the summertime we take it outside, so usually, usually earlier in the year, spring, summer, and fall, and then once it starts getting below 40 degrees, um, you know, 30 to 5 degrees, 40 degrees uh, at night, uh, it will start to not really be able to keep up, so it won't be able to, to keep the water temperature at 100, which is usually where we keep it 100, 102. So then we bring it back in for the uh, fall and winter. And we kept it inside the house here. Uh, it didn't cause any trouble with humidity or anything like that. Obviously we're on a slab here in this lower level of the house. This is a, an atrium. And so uh, it was no issues with the weight on the floor. We filled it up, we ran it in here. Um, and it worked out really well. We've got the, the projector screen on the back wall. We could throw a movie on or TV shows or things like that and sit in the hot tub or just come in here, listen to music and just kind of hang out. So it was a nice nice thing to, to enjoy in the in the winter time and when it's uh, snowing and freezing cold outside decided to sit in this hot tub and look out these uh, the, the nice big windows here uh, next to us so so this is the Intex uh, hot tub and I think this is I want to say this is the seven person but I'll put a link we ordered this on Amazon uh, got delivered in a box and it inflates easy the the pump does all the work for you it inflates it and deflates it and uh, it does everything so it's been a been a pretty good deal and it's been uh, going on its second year now and it still holds air. We haven't really had to fill it up at all. And uh, you know, we haven't had any leaks, haven't had any issues with anything.
where we want to be. Well, the Intex hot tub has been working very well for us here. We move it out in the summer and we take it back inside the atrium in the winter time. It seems to be very well built. Uh, I don't see really any signs of any leaking or wear and tear or anything like that. Um, the, the unit here, the pump um, and the heater and all that stuff has been working really well. It has two filters in it. They're just little cartridge filters you get on Amazon. There's one down there, and then there's another one right there. Um, usually we just replace those, or you can clean them out a few times before you have to replace them. And then that is just a little light, um, and it's actually also the jet where the, the hot water comes back in. But that's really all there is to it. There's a little um, air curtain that goes all the way around. And when you turn the air jets on, that's all it does. It just bubbles out of all the way around there. But it it uh, it adds quite a bit of turbulence to the water um, through those uh, that little air curtain. So I'll turn it on really quick. So the little interface here just has a couple options. It has the the air jets. It has the uh, the heat. So if you wanna, want it to, to turn on the heater, you just press the flame button and that turns on the filter and the heat. If you just want to run the filter, you can hit this button, it'll just cycle through the filter. And then obviously you have your temperature up and down. Um, it'll go up to as high as 104 and that's the max. We usually keep it set at about 100 um, and then there's the on off button. So the cover is basically just uh, inflated and so it just holds air and, and that actually insulates it so when you put the cover on uh, it holds uh, quite a bit of heat in. So a couple things about this, it does not work through the winters here in Michigan so we can't leave this outside in Michigan, it just won't keep warm. Um, I mean it would keep it maybe you know 60 degrees or something like that but it certainly would never keep it at 100 degrees if it's 10 degrees outside. In fact, once it gets below 40 degrees uh, during the day and night, you know, somewhere in there, 30 to, to 50 degrees, uh, we, we bring it inside. So it does have a, a pretty good size uh, insulated pillow here that, you know, the, the whole sides of it, it does insulate pretty well, but just not enough for, you know, for wintertime use. So that's why we take it inside. You certainly could bring it inside and put it in a garage or a, uh, you know, a sunroom or a, a screened in or, or, or a covered porch of some sort, something that stays a little bit warm. Warmer. and it keeps the humidity stays in when it's covered the only time that, you know you have humidity problems is when you're in using it and you know we're usually only in it for a half an hour and so um, you know we never had any problems with humidity in the house so for us for something that is uh, you know under a thousand dollars to purchase uh, this thing has been perfect uh, we can all fit in it you know five all five of us my family uh, can fit in there two adults uh, a 21 year old and a 16 year old and 10 year old so we we all fit in here together uh, it's a little cramped with all five of us in there but it's not bad it's still comfortable um, and uh, and it's been perfect for us so outside of spending you know ten thousand dollars on a full new you know nice hot tub which we may do sometime down the road this thing has been great so I just wanted to do an update today on the hot tub. Uh, many of you saw the video, which I'll link uh, here in the description as well as up in the card system um, to the last year I did a video about us moving it inside. Many of you have asked over the year, how did it work out um, with us running it inside and also how has the hot tub worked out? And so I thought I would give you an update. It's been working very well. We've been very happy with it. So of course, as always, I'll put a link to this uh, item over on Amazon. So where we bought it, bought it on Amazon, had it shipped. Um, it takes maybe 45 minutes to set up and then it it takes about 48 hours for it to get from 55 degree well water all the way up to 100 degrees. So a little less than that, but uh, it takes a, a day or two to, to heat up all the way. Hopefully you guys find this useful uh, information. If you have questions, of course, throw those things down below in the comment section. If you guys have one of these and have an experience with it you'd like to share, throw it down below as well. Don't forget to hit thumbs up on today's video. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.